Hi, my name is Paul Offit, and I'm talking to you today from the Division of Infectious Diseases here at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and the Vaccine Education Center here at Children's. Um, what I wanted to talk about was, uh, so it started at least uh, uh, for me uh, with an event uh, a few weeks ago. I was asked to speak at an infectious diseases symposium in New York City. And present in that symposium were about 750 pediatricians and family practitioners there to learn about common aspects of pediatric infections. I was asked to speak about the science of vaccines. When well, the other room were the exhibitors, and one of the exhibitors was selling uh, a homeopathic medicine called oslococcinum. So what is oslococcinum? What it is is that you take the, the liver and the heart of a Burberry duck, you homogenize it, you dilute it a uh, hundredfold in water. Then you do another serial hundredfold dilutions 200 times, which means that when you're done, there's not a single molecule of that Burberry duck's liver or heart left. In fact, if you look actually at the volume of the universe, which is roughly 3 times 10 to the 80th cubic meters, it's more dilute than that. So, so what is oslococcin? It's basically a gram of sugar, yet it's being sold as something that helps flu-like symptoms, such as feeling run down, chills, fever, um, when it, clearly it is, it, is, it is placebo. What's interesting is that they, uh, the company that was uh, talking about this was distributing literature showing how this was better than placebo, which is amazing considering that it is placebo. Now, you could argue that, that the advantage of something like oslococcin is that it's not the cough and cold remedies, which can really have side effects that can be uh, dangerous for children. But I think that, that it's, uh, at the very least, uh, not fair to advertise something as having a physiological or medical effect when, in fact, it's simply a gram of sugar. And, and the FDA you know, could choose to do something about this. They could uh, crack down more, certainly, on homeopathic medicines, which are sold as drugs. So this isn't something that would be protected by the 1994 Dietary Supplement and Health Education Act. But at least to date, they've chosen not to do that. Thanks for your attention.